Fred told me earlier this year that he had been working at the observatory for over 40 years, which must make him one of the longest serving telescope operators in the entire world. I will give you luck in the first place with so many years of service. And yeah, I think he is one of the people in the world who has been working for the most time on the and that's when we are all with freezing weird astronomers. Forty years working with astronomers. I'm okay, but I only lasted 26. You know, it was fine. It's fine. Hi, Fred. Congratulations on your 40th anniversary here at the observatory. Fred, hi. This is Mike Shera at the American Museum of Natural History, um, and uh, I want to say on this 40th anniversary, the warmest congratulations. Uh, it is fantastic. Okay. C congratulations on your 40 years with SAO, Fred. That really is a remarkable achievement. Fred, really? 40 years? Could you just not think of another idea? Yes, Freddy. Um, 40 years, we can't afford to live. Um, Freddy, all that I can say for you is that I'm very glad with your 40 years. We hope and we trust that the year of your health will be for so many years. Another thing is, you need a better... A better hand. Hey, Mr. Fred, I'm waiting for you in 2019, and con congratulations on your 40 years. And I see, for, I'm looking forward to our next smoke in 2019. This one. Fred, I am so impressed about 40 years and uh, all these, what, what is it now, maybe 14 years that I've been observing together with you at SALT. It's been absolutely amazing. We were one of the first people at SALT. And I always treasure those nights observing and you putting, smelling the air and telling me half an hour before whatever will be happening. Fred, totally awesome. Congratulations and well done. Now you get an observing hat like this, especially in a concealed weapons carry state like Texas, people don't mess around with you. Hi Fred, delighted to hear about you making it to 40 years at SAAO. And I can think that it um, 40 years is, it looks like not so young. As 40 years is not 40 nights or months, nie, but it's years, and this is a life. And everything is just out of the grace of the Lord. Hi Fred, Sunday is here. I saw you 10 years ago, happy 40th. Dear Uncle Fred, I know you almost all my life. Thanks for the uncle, friend, and also the dad I have in you. Thank you for the help in advice. Um, Fred is a great ou. Hello Fred, I feel like with your 40 years of instabber SAO. We have a lot of young people in our world still every day with you. And uh, we hope you will help us for a long time. We will be able to help you with Oh, Fred, another thing about your observing cap. It used to work for you, good luck, not working anymore. Hey Fred, what can we say to our very own telescope whisperer? Uh, just amazing, what an incredible career you've had and are still having. I hope you've still got many more decades to do with us, yeah? Hi Fred, so congratulations on your 40 years of service. Um, as you may remember, uh, 30 years ago when I came to South Africa, you were one of the first people at Sutherland that I got to know when you were uh, with Francois as a uh, night assistant on the 1.9 metre. Um, and of course I've seen you progress from that to being a, a SALT operator and then you retired, uh, in theory. Um, but of course you have come back to help with uh, the continuous um, uh, operations with SALT and have been a really important part of the uh, SALT and SAO family. Hi Fred, I just wanted to do three things. Uh, to wish you well, to congratulate you on all the fine astronomical observations you did, at least in my time, and, um, and to thank you for all the help you gave to me and to other people, especially when you were helping them at telescopes. We, everybody, overseas visitors, uh, locals, all sent in messages uh, praising the way you uh, helped them. Um, and it's not just 
skills, it's the, it's your personality. Uh, quiet and calm and cheerful uh, and, and, and that, that meant a great deal, especially at the telescopes, but to the observatory as a whole. It made you a very unique person uh, in the observatory. You're actually one of the people that showed me the ropes around, you know, in Sutherland. Thank you for that, Fred. I, you probably don't remember this, but about 35 years ago, when I first came to South Africa uh, to visit, uh, I came to observe with my colleague and friend Tony Moffat, uh, and we observed with you on the 1.9 meter telescope. We had a fantastic week with you. Uh, it was really very enjoyable, led to some lovely data. Uh, and I, again, my first trip to South Africa, and you were a fantastic intro introduction uh, to the observatory and to the astronomical possibilities uh, that were still so nascent in South Africa. And this all reminds me of you supporting me at Sutherland in my first runs around 1980-81. Oh, that is a long time ago. Hope you make many more. All the very best. And I'm really privileged that it was Fred that trained me to become a telescope operator at SALT. And one of the things that he told me when I started working there was that I would begin to feel like a mother for the telescope. And I thought that that was such a beautiful such a beautiful sentiment and I just thought that it, it so wonderfully illustrates his own relationship with telescopes. There are many things that, that I might talk about but, but just for a moment I want to, to remind you of your direct contribution to the research work of, of the observatory. Of course it, you came here and you started off as a, as a night assistant helping people observe and you were so good at that that, that we decided you could observe by yourself. And that was a huge success, more of a success than anyone could have guessed. I missed out on your night assisting phase, but I, I do remember the 30 inch observing with the infrared program. Ah, it was just such a, such a hard thing to do and you just made it look simple. Um, maybe you should have made it look a, a little harder because it, it really was difficult, but you just somehow made, made that difficult old telescope and instrument sing. It's really, really cool. Yeah, unfortunately, Fred cannot be considered a very bright guy. In fact, he is so dim, you spell it with two M's. Now, the way Fred managed to aim and get a dim system going, the differential Im image motion monitor for Bezier seeing, is just amazing. I mean, Fred started there with the first systems with a tiny little SD4 uh, CCD in it. I mean, that thing is so small. It's the size of your little toenail, really. And you didn't have an image, you just had numbers to go by to know where it's centered. And Fred just does this with so much ease and nobody else can do anything about it. And then, of course, all your time at SALT. Um, it's just, it's always a delight when we see your name is up on the rotor. We know we're going to find you up there in Sutherland, um, reading your night logs. Um, often on a clear night, you'll, you'll just say, you know, right with the telescope, clear and calm. And I always wonder if you're referring to yourself or, or the conditions. I have been uh, now a member of the SALT uh, Consortium for about 10 years. Uh, watch every single night log uh, and your name appears over and over again. It's fantastic. Uh, you were unique in, in a good many ways. But, uh, you were unique right from the beginning because, if I remember correctly, you just came to the main door of the observatory in Cape Town uh, with, and asked if there was any work uh, uh, in Sutherland. Uh, there was no prior advertisement. There was, you know, nobody phoned in to ask whether there was work. Uh, and, uh, you just turned up. Uh, and you must have impressed the people at the door because uh, 
The next thing was uh, we were sitting having a chat. Um, and if I remember correctly, you told me that you were at present working uh, in a TV factory, uh, taking, uh, looking at television sets as they came off line, switching them on, and if they didn't work, trying to fix them. Um, well, that seemed to me uh, quite a useful uh, ability to have in a place like Sullivan. So Fred and myself could speak the same language in some extent with fixing TVs, but we just had different perspectives. Fred from a point of view of fixing, of, uh, fixing it when it was assembled incorrectly, switching it on for the first time, and myself trying to fault find a component that is going to fault. I see iemand wat sommer sal um, praat hees, so baie stil ou, en um, baie mooi maniere, maar is eindelijk ook baie snaak, sê hy hou van grappe vir twee. <laughs> yeah, your sense of humor is just endlessly entertaining to me. Um, the way you relish the absurd, it's always fun to hear you come up with, with interesting things. Um, recent one was the bit about the, the Big Bang that happened in the South. And I, I looked back at the literature, the scientific literature that you made a contribution to, and you have been co-author of papers on just about every astronomical object going. Now, most of the, the first authors of these, these papers were people from, from SAAO, but there's also quite a number of international authors who have acknowledged your contribution uh, uh, to these papers. And it, it's clear to me that many of these papers wouldn't have happened without you, so your contribution has been extremely important taken part in over 150 publications with over four and a half thousand citations. Now for research scientists it, it, these days, it, one of the ways of me measuring how good they are is called their H index. So just as a matter of interest, I worked out what your H index is and it's 41. Uh, that means you have contributed to 41 papers that have 41 or more references. Some of them have two or 300 references. But a citation index that's equal to the number of years that you've been working is reckoned to be pretty respectable for any kind of research scientist. So to do that from your position as, as an assistant is really quite amazing. And it's wonderful to see how you have graduated from, from doing these observations to working on SALT and how involved you are with the SALT observations. And I see you've been co-author of many SALT papers as well. So congratulations on all that. And, and I can't finish without saying that, that the scientific contributions are important, but I also really appreciate many other aspects of you. Your, your cool sanity, your sound advice, your dependability, if I asked you something and you didn't know the answer, you would never make anything up, unlike many people. Uh, you were kind, you were caring of the people that you worked with and the people you worked for, and we really are very grateful for everything that you've done for SAO over the years, and we hope that the future brings great things for you in astronomy and for your family. For my kant af, baie dankie vir elke minuut wat ek saam met jou kon spandeer het. Jy is amazing. En ik heb baie bij jou geleer. En ja, mag ons nog bij het tijd om verder samen te werken. Alles van je beste. So Fred, I just want to say thank you very much. It's been a real honor working with you, and I really look forward to continuing to do so. This comes from the bottom of my heart. Fred Marang and Francois van Wijk, the terrible twins, a bond that nobody else would understand. Not even I can explain it. You were my mentor, but became so much more. An older brother, advisor, soulmate, and somebody that I can confide in. And also my uncle by marriage. 
So Uncle Fred, thanks for 37 years. And it's still an honor and a pleasure working together. Although not side by side, I draw inspiration from your willingness. The word failure does not exist for Fred Marang. You always said your goal is ridiculously high. So even if it was a failure, you would still fail above everybody else's success. I love you, man. And thanks. All the best for the future. FEW. So, Fred, it's the next 40 years that are going to be the challenge, okay? I know this. So, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for all these years of service. It's been really amazing and remarkable. Um, and I wish you another 40 years of good health, uh, observing if you want or doing something else and continuing to enjoy life, but be well. Thank you. Congratulations, Fred. Here's for another 40 years together again. Good luck to you for the next 40 years and my good wishes not only to you but to your family. Okay, goodbye to Fred. Ja, ik had nog iets om te zeggen. Uh, um, ik word down now. En wanneer ons vis bak op op een middag, dan zal hij altijd voor ons kom vra, wil jullie niet van mijn stukje stiel en in mijn Nightlands box stukje alsjeblieft. Congratulations, Fred! Aish, my brother, 30 years.